Hey, everyone! Welcome back to my channel, where we dive into the world of electronics and coding. Today, I've got an exciting project for you, how to control a 3-digit 8x8 dot matrix display using Arduino and the MAX7219 driver. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned Arduino enthusiast, this project is both fun and educational. So stick around. Here's a quick look at the components we'll be using today. All right, let's start by going over the components you'll need for this project. You'll need an Arduino board, AMA X7219 module, 38X8 dot matrix displays, some jumper wires. Once you've got everything ready, it's time to set up the circuit. Here's the circuit diagram. The MAX7219 is the key component here, handling all the heavy lifting for driving the LEDs on the dot matrix displays. You'll connect the DIN pin to Arduino pin 12, CS to pin 10, and CLK to pin 11. Don't forget to power your module by connecting VCC and GND to the Arduino as well. Let's quickly wire this up. Make sure each connection is secure. Any loose wires can cause erratic behavior. Now that our hardware is set up, let's move on to the code. I've written a simple Arduino sketch to control our dot matrix displays. This code will allow us to display any three-digit number. Let's take a closer look. First, we'll include the LED control library, which makes controlling the MAX7219 super easy. Then, we define the pins connected to our MA-X7219 module and initialize the LED control object. I've also created custom digit patterns for 0 through 9, stored in an array. These patterns represent each digit as a series of rows that light up on the dot matrix. Finally, the loop function repeatedly displays a 3-digit number, which we can easily change. Let's upload the code and see it in action. I've uploaded the code, and now we can see the number. Notice how each digit is perfectly aligned on its respective display. You can modify the number variable in the code to display any three-digit number you like. You can even customize the patterns to display letters or symbols. And that's it. You've successfully created a three-digit display using Arduino, and Mac 7219. But don't stop here. Try experimenting with different patterns or even scroll text across the displays. The possibilities are endless. Imagine creating your own digital clock, counters, or even a simple game display. With a bit of creativity, this project can be expanded in so many ways. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and Channel for more awesome projects like this. Also, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I'm always open to new ideas. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep experimenting and happy coding.